Edgar in Philadelphia writes to me and he says, Hey Paul, I ripped my CDs to flack using exact audio copy. Good stuff. That uh, EAC is a good program. Recently, I started listening to Tidal and Cobuzz and found myself very disappointed. I noticed a significant reduction in quality with both of these services when streaming CD quality FLAC files. This is very puzzling to me. I cannot figure out why there would be a difference at all unless their files are not the same quality as mine, which I doubt. Does that make sense to you? I notice a lot more noise on the stream that comes from the internet. It's far less dynamic. My system is something you would probably call resolving. You know, Edgar, I hear this a lot and I find the same thing to be true. It's a mystery in many respects because I don't know what the streaming services are doing. I hear rumors, but I'm not going to start. <laughs> major compression and upsampling and uh, you know when you and I don't so first off I agree with you I have a couple of cures that I'm going to tell you about a couple of guesses I'm going to tell you about but for a moment let's just speculate and just look at the situation that a cobuzz or a title has if you have a service that has millions, literally 10, 12, I don't know how many millions of songs they have, but lots. They probably have several million albums and each album has 10 tracks on it. That's a lot of storage. I mean, just storage, storage, storage. Got to be expensive. And if it's going to be expensive like that, what are you going to do? You're going to compress it and you're going to compress it down as, as small as you can get it to keep the expense of, of storage down then you have the problem of streaming because when I connect up to a stream I just hit a button but if you think about what's happening I am connecting directly up to a server somewhere that has this file and the file is going to start to send out its data when a streaming company sends out data, they pay for that data. So the smaller that data can be, the less they pay. Small storage, small bandwidth, lower cost. I am absolutely certain that is part of the problem. Now, technically, I don't know what they're doing. I do know that they claim this is CD quality and you can look at it, it's bit for bit the same. It sure doesn't sound the same. So I don't know, but maybe we can start in the comments section. I, there's a lot of smart people <laughs> that watch my videos, <laughs> unlike the guy that makes them. And if you guys have some ideas of what's going on that you actually know, uh, please jump in on the comment section. Let's, let's hear about it. I, I, I read every comment. I would love to, to hear, hear your thoughts. I, I, you know, okay, all right, we're not going to go into all that, you know, well, this is, this is what I think. So if you actually know something, that would be great. Um, we know that when you stream over a network, whether it's the home network or the, the internet, the larger network, somehow it's getting into your home network and then it's getting into your DAC somehow or other, or your streamer has a DAC built in. That's a fairly noisy process, and we know from building our new product, the AirLens, which is a galvanically isolated interface that completely eliminates the problems of noise, uh, jitter, all the stuff that plague what you're hearing to some extent. And man, streaming sounds a whole heck of a lot better putting that interface between your DAC and the outside world. So that we know for sure. That's demonstrable. When we launched the uh, airlines, I think sometime in late December, um, January 2023, you'll find if you have one of those, you're going to get a magnitude better sonic quality than you had. Will it rival your CD? It's close, but no cigar. There's still something going on of which 
I wish I had a better answer for you, but I don't. So open the floodgates. Bring the discussions on. Let's talk about it. All right. Thanks for the question. And, and, uh, and good luck. Okay. Thanks. Bye. Thank you.